Hi, friends of Jesus. We've been learning so much about Jesus lately. We learned who Jesus is. We learned what he came for. And we learned who he came for. And now we're going to hear what he wants us to do. Um, today, we get to ask the question, Jesus, we know you love us very much and we love you. Tell us how to treat other people. And not just the people we like, but everyone. Well, lucky for us, the Bible has a true story that will help us with this one. And we're going to hear it today. Are you ready? So our story starts with Jesus. And he was sitting at the temple, sharing stories about God and teaching people all about God. And the Pharisees and the leaders of the law, so the Jewish leaders, came up to the people in Jesus and they brought with them a woman. And they brought a woman who had been caught doing a sin and they forced her in front of all the people in Jesus. And they said to Jesus, teacher, this woman was caught in a sin and the law of Moses commands that we should kill her using stones. What do you think we should do? Well, they were trying to trick Jesus because the law of God said that if someone was caught in a sin, they would be stoned to death. That means people would throw stones at them until they died. That's horrible. And so they knew that was a law from God, but they were trying to trick Jesus to see if he knew the rules. But Jesus knelt down and he started to write on the ground with his finger. And they kept asking the same question to Jesus. So finally he stood up and said, is there anyone here who has never committed a sin? The person without sin can throw the first stone at this woman. Well, Jesus knelt right back down and kept writing on the ground. Those who heard Jesus began to leave one by one. The older men left first and then the next. And finally, Jesus was left alone with the woman. She was standing right in front of him. And Jesus stood up and he asked her, Woman, all these people have gone. Has no one judged you as guilty? And she answered, No one has judged me, sir. And Jesus said, So I also don't judge you. You may go, but don't sin again. Did that woman sin? Yeah, the Bible tells us she sinned. She did something that was wrong. She did something, she disobeyed God. But what did the people want to do? They wanted to kill her and punish her. They seemed kind of angry. What did Jesus do? Yeah, he, he was writing in the sand, right? But he also asked anybody who didn't have any sins their whole life that they could punish her. Was there anybody that could do that? Is there, could you do that? Are you without sin? I'm not either. We all sin. Jesus uses this real story to remind us that we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. Meaning none of us are perfect. Only God is. And we all need forgiveness. We all need Jesus to save us from those sins. We all need mercy and love and compassion and forgiveness. So that's how Jesus wants us to treat others. Not to point our fingers at people, but to help them to, to walk away from sin and to forgive them and show them that God is a God who forgives and loves. So we see what Jesus does when we read the Bible. And then we pray and we ask him to help us do what Jesus does for others. Will you pray with me right now? Dear God, thank you for showing us how to live. 
a loving, good life. We know it's too hard to do on our own, so give us your spirit, Lord, to help us to love others, forgive others, and do the right thing, even when it's very hard. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Well, enjoy showing love to everyone this week, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy the music and the fun activities in the lesson. Bye-bye.